Hey everybody, how's it going today? Burke Crown coming with the YouTube video. Today we got a pack opening. We're gonna get after it. We're gonna open some nice packs. And we're gonna open some big pulls, right? We need a lot of good cards to help bump this team up. We're, we're, we're right there. Just that one little push would get us to a fantastic Leaf theme team. And I really, really want to upgrade Lindros, Suntine, Solomon, Gardner, Tavares, Wayne Simmons. I want to upgrade all of them. I want to get them all maxed right out so we can start working on all the other positions. But it takes time and it takes rewards. So let's get into it. Let's see what we get for these rewards. I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you do, give it that thumbs up. And don't forget, guys, you know I love seeing what you guys get in the polls in the comment section. So hit that comment section with what you guys pull. Because great pulls, bad pulls, whatever we get, we love to see it. So hit that up, guys. But let's get into it and get uh, three purples. All right, here we are. The good old Rivals Rewards. Two Jumbo Elite Player Packs and two Mega Packs. Now let's take the 60,000 60, coins. I'm just kidding. What kind of video would that be if we just took coins? We'll take the two Jumbo Elite Player Packs and the two Mega Packs. Now that we're in Division 3, though, it's nice because, uh, you know, now we're actually going to get Ultimate Packs and we can stay in Ultimate which I miss those rewards, guys. Division 2 rewards are so good compared to what uh, what Division 6, 5, and 4 have to offer. But it was nice coming through the ranks from Division 6 all the way through Division 5 and Division 4, and now in Division 3, because it, it's nice seeing the progression of a team through that. It's nice seeing different play styles, and it, it's just nice to see the, uh, the level of rewards and understand and appreciate people in the lower division what they have to really go through to build a good team. Because the rewards down there are not good at all. So I'm hoping for three purples. But any, anything more than that will obviously take. Any cards above 80, like 85 and above are tremendous to help build up Taveras and Simmons. Because if we can get Simmons up to a 92, that's great. But Taveras is our second line center. So I really need to get that card up. Because 91 just is not cutting it. I'm not feeling lost out there with him, and I'm not feeling like he's hurting me in any way. But I feel like it could give me a little bit of an edge if I could just get him a little better, you know? I feel like I'm, I'm not losing games because of the 91, but it would be easier to win games if I could get him up to a 93. 84 was our best pull out of that mega pack, but lots of stuff. And stuff is good. Stuff is good. So hopefully we can get a purple here because we only have these three more packs to get three more purples. So we used up our only non-purple pack. <laughs> a lot of Boston in here. <laughs> but uh, no purple so far. And just low, low 80s. Not even, not even a high 80. We haven't hit an 85 yet. We got 84 in the last pack, but... And at the time I'm actually recording this, Edmonton is losing to Vegas, and Carolina just walloped New Jersey. So, you know, whew, that's tough. But uh, let's get a big pull. You know, an 89 TJ Brody would be really nice right about now. Okay, now the two Jumbo Elite player packs. This is where I'm really hoping to get my three purples out of these two packs. 1880 pluses. So we're going to be looking at a lot of really good really good cards for sets and and maybe power up collectibles to get into sundeen because i really want to level up sundeen but purple is really what we're looking for 85 that's good that's good that 85 would be really good for simmons and if we wanted to john Tavares. <clears throat> but you know hopefully uh hopefully the, the leafs can play a lot better than what we've been seeing not a bad pack, but uh, it leaves me a little short of the three purples. At this point, I'm really just hoping for one purple. 285s now. That's going to be my big pull probably, which is... It's rough. I did get 285s and an 84. That's kind of Montour. When did Montour become such a, an amazing hockey player? Like, wow, moves to Florida and it's just over. Eh? He loves the, loves the nice weather. 284s and 285s. Oh, man. You would have loved to have seen a purple, but uh, we're not going to get one here today. Ugh. Tough. But we did get a lot of stuff, and stuff helps improve your team. They're all non-tradable, but it doesn't matter because they're all going to go to collectibles to help 
bump up everybody else, whether it be power up collectibles or it be collectibles for Simmons or Tavares. It's back to classic rivals, three minute periods, which is nice. I've already completed my weekly tiers and I'm in ultimate as we speak. And thank God we're back in division three on our way to division two because in division three you get an ultimate pack so i'm gonna do my best to stay in ultimate and get that pack and then oh my god the good rewards that we're gonna get out of there and then of course as always we'll just take a quick little peek at the team um i don't know when the last time you guys seen a a, a team breakdown or a team update but we got gardner camp at a 94 now and kadri and then we got Verhagi, Tavares, and 95 Nylander. We got 89 Phil Castle, 88 Sundin, and Anti Somalia. I really got to work on that. Pierre Ingvall, Eric Lindros, and Wayne Simmons. And then our blue line, we've, I've really been putting the focus on the blue line to make it better. We got that Luke Shen. We got Morgan Riley. Boreas Salmi is an 89 now. CC, of course, the 94 from uh, winning the series. We got Rindell and Muzzin. This Rindell card, if I didn't see or break it down with you, I got him for like 40k, if not a little less. For 91 speed at six foot, great card. Absolutely great card. With 99 body checking, guys, it, it, it's awesome. And then Jake Muzzin. And we still have, depending on when you've seen this last, Joseph Wool and Net. So yeah, guys, as always, who doesn't love opening packs? It was a great time. It always is. I just, I just love opening packs. That's why I get the double down. Um, the smart thing to do if you're looking for collectibles is to take the non-tradable double rewards or if you're looking to buy a specific card off the auction house, don't take the non or don't take the tradable single packs, take the coins. So if you want to open packs, double down. If you want the coins, take the coins. Don't open the tradable packs. Cause I mean, look what I just got there, right? I did not get sixty thousand coins worth of value out of those packs, and that was doubled down. So you just you gotta be careful there, guys. But anyways, thank you for watching the video, and I hope you did enjoy it. Until next time, ciao, ciao.